much better. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, what's up scholars and welcome back. So last time I was talking to you about contour line drawings and continuous contour line drawings. Now today, continuous contour line drawings are really going to help us with our new challenge. And our new challenge is, we're still drawing from observation, but today's challenge is to create a blind contour line drawing. Blind contour drawing? Yes, a blind contour line drawing. And that means that when you are drawing from observation, you are not allowed to look down at your paper and see what you're drawing. Yep, you cannot look at your paper and that's the blind part. You are only allowed to look at what you are drawing today. Now, that's why the continuous line drawing is going to help you because with that kind of line drawing, your pencil or your pen or your marker is always on the paper. So you can't get confused of, Oh no, what was the last thing I drew? No, with that kind of line drawing, your pen is already on the paper and you can just keep on going. Now, you're still gonna be not, you're still not gonna be sure whether or not, oh, am I in the right place? Am I getting the right spacing? So I'm gonna talk through this challenge. So when you try it, you can be like, all right. I have to say the drawings come out a little funny but that's personally why I think it's so much fun. Oh, one of my most favorite drawings to do with any artist or you guys. So today my three dimensional object that I'm going to use is myself. So I am using a mirror so I can observe myself. Now you can choose another object. Maybe you wanna use a chair for today or a cup or another favorite toy. Or if you have a sibling or a parent who's willing to model for you, totally awesome. But you can choose whatever three-dimensional object you wanna use for this challenge. The only thing you must not do is look on your paper as you are drawing. So before I start drawing, I'm first going to observe my object. So I'm gonna carefully look and decide where I'm going to start because where I'm going to start, that's where I also need to decide where my drawing material needs to start on my, my paper. Now, if I'm gonna start at the top of my head, I might wanna start at the top of my paper. If I wanna start like towards my neck or my chin, I might wanna start towards the bottom of my paper. So I need to make some of those mindful choices before I start. So I'm actually gonna start down here. Now, as I'm drawing, I want to make sure as my eye is traveling along my object that I'm drawing, my pen or my pencil or marker is traveling with it. So it's almost as if my eye and my pen were connected by a string and moving together. But don't forget, you are not allowed to look. That is part of the challenge, is not to pick up your pen and not to look at the paper. But trust me, it's so much fun. All right, I'm gonna start. So. If you're afraid you're gonna look, I get it. You can always get a paper plate or a napkin and put it over it to kind of blind it, but I challenge you just not to look. So here I go. I'm gonna start at the bottom because that's where I'm gonna start, down here. All right, so I'm gonna start looking. And just like my continuous line drawing, some of my lines might be squiggly or overlap, but I'm just going to look and draw as I see the parts in my face. I'm gonna think to myself and my hand, like how much space do I need to move to add the next thing? So like right now I'm on my nose and I need to decide how long of a line I need to make, my nostril, how big of the shape I need to add after the line, the line and the distance, going back up to add my other eye. Now, I, I don't expect this to look perfect, but really what I'm challenging myself to do is to trust that I know what it feels like to add all these details and get them in the correct places. Now I'm coming back down. Maybe I'm going in, adding my mouth and my lips. So I'm gonna finish this quickly. Oh no, I need to add my hair. I'm gonna look bald. <laughs> 
So I'm gonna finish this a little bit quicker. I expect that when you try it, you're gonna slow yourself a little bit down because you really want to look and draw, but notice how I have not looked at my, my paper just yet. I have, I'm only focusing on what I'm drawing. And as soon as I lift my pen, then I can take a look. Oh! <laughs> All right, let me show you what I got. Ah! It doesn't look exactly like me, but I did pretty good considering I did not look. My two eyes are exactly where they need to be. My nose is approximately there. You see my mouth. I did pretty good. I even got my little like, my little bun at the top. All right, my friends. So today you are doing a blind, continuous contour line drawing. Good luck. And make sure you are not looking on your paper. All right. Hope to see some of the results. <laughs>